Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel, and in the video today we're looking at why carbonated beverages are called soft drinks. Today the term soft drink is typically used for flavoured carbonated beverages, but originally it was just any drink that didn't contain a significant amount of alcohol, a hard drink. The push to have soft drink primarily refer to just sugary carbonated beverages is thanks to a concerted effort by carbonated beverage makers. Flavoured carbonated beverage makers were having a hard time creating national advertisements due to the fact that what people call their product varies from place to place. For instance, in parts of the United States and Canada, Canada, flavored carbonated beverages are often referred to as pop, in other parts as soda, and yet other parts coke. And there are also a variety of other names commonly used as well. Jumping to my side of the pond, in England these drinks are referred to as fizzy drinks, and in Ireland they're sometimes called minerals. To account for the fact that they can't refer to their product in the generic sense on national advertisements because of these varied terms, the manufacturers chose the term soft drink to be more or less a universal term for flavor carbonated beverages. Thanks to the subsequent advertising campaigns that followed featuring this, today soft drink almost exclusively refers to these beverages rather than any non-alcoholic drink as before. And now for a bonus fact. The first known reference of the term pop as referring to a beverage was in 1812 in a letter written by English poet Robert Southey. In this letter, he also explains the term's origin. Called on A. Harrison and found he was at Carlisle, but that we were expected to supper, excused ourselves on the necessity of eating at the inn, supped there upon trout and roast fowl, drank some most admirable cider, and a new manufactory of a nectar between soda water and ginger beer, and called pop, because pop goes the cork when it is drawn. And pop would you go off too, if you drank too much of it. So I really hope you found that video interesting, and if you've got a question like this that you would like us to answer, please do leave it in the comments and we'll see what we can do. Also hit that thumbs up button below, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you for watching.